and it's the 1st of August, and we're continuing with the Golden Ass. Quo facto starts off ablative with this thing done at Ipsy Aliquid and himself something, Aliquid something, indeed am. That means from the same source, same place, it's an adverb, sumo. Okay, so sumo means I took something, I consumed, but it's, with that done, I took something from that same place, which means from the same bag, which we saw his friend eating from. Qui, the enclitic, and him, avide, is sentientem aspiciens. And this means a present participle nominative. And we know that the person doing it is the person who is telling the story, who took up something from the same bag, from the same resource. And he was watching him, avide, avidly, he sent him. This is a present participle accusative for eating. So, watching him eating avidly. Aliquento intentiore macchiae. Now, this is ablative as well. Um, being more maciated, more, being more thinner, and pallor, boxio. This here is ablative as well. And here's our verb, a video. So, I was looking at him eating avidly, and I saw him being somewhat eloquento, more thinner, and would say with the pallor of boxwood. So he was pale like this type of wood, uh, and he was deficient in tam. So uh, it's just basically means he was deficient, he was getting thinner, and he was getting wasted away with the color of a boxwood. Sick, which means thus, denique, finally, finally thus, ilm him, Vitalis color. Uh, that's a adjective going with the color, which is the nominative. It usually means of life, but it can mean death as well. So, um, so this deadly color or life-giving color was turbovirated, was confused. And ut, so that to me, pray, looks like because of here. Sometimes it also means in front of or comparison, but here. But for me, because of fear... Nocturnus etiam furious illus imaginanti. So even the f those furies which I had imagined nocturnally in the night, and because of this fear, the frustulum panis, this um, little bit of bread or crust of bread, whatever he was eating that he took from the bag, um, quad primum sumpsaram. So the first bit of this bread which he had sumpsaram, which he had taken up, Quam vis, although ad modem monarchy, uh, so it was absolutely just a modest bit, or certainly, ad, ad modem means to the limit, actually. So you've got ad, which means to, and modem is limit. Serves as an adjective, uh, adverb. Okay, so all together, although it was a modest bit of this bread, which we first took up, in here at, means it had stuck. We've got ablative plural. In the middle of his jaws, focus is your throat or your jaws. Ac means and, nequi, neither. De awesome means downwards. Demire from mio, which means traveling. So down, the day means down. So neither will it travel down and neither sursum upwards. So we have de awesome and sursum upward and downwards. Posset, here we go. So our verb meaning was able uh, to re come back up again. So this small bit of bread stuck into the middle of his throat. And it would ne neither would it go down, and neither would it, was he able to get it to go up again. And uh, we'll look at the daily dictionary word, vitalis. Life-giving, lively, living alive, of life and death, vital. Okay, daily dictionary. Nam et brevitas ipsa comientium mitum mihi cumulabat. So for also, the brevity itself, this is a genitive present participle uh, plural. Uh, this is means that the people who were frequenting this road that he was on. So the brevity of travellers means the few people who were travelling this road, because there was hardly any people travelling on the road, he was accumulating fear, me, to, him, to himself, or to me, is what he's actually saying. Basically, there's not many other travellers, which also made him fearful. Quiz enum. For who? De duobus cometum. Out of two companions, committium, alterum sine alterius, one without the other, 
Noxa peremptum crederet. So but basically what it's saying is, for who would actually believe that with there's two companions in harm, Noxia has come to one without the other, peremptum, who would, who would believe this that happened? Verum ille, but he, he being Socrates, and peremptum means being murdered or destroyed, uh, but he, ut satis de trunca verat sibum, as satisfactorily he was chomping up his food, sitiri in patiento coperat. We'll take that as an adverb. So he began impatiently to be thirsty. Okay. Nam et optimi casei. For also, bonam partem, a good part, we had this back here in the genitive, of the best cheese, optimi casei. For also, a good part of the best cheese, devour of it. Devour, he devoured avidly. Et hoard ita longe, and it is thus, and so hoard longe, so not far. Radices, these are the roots, uh, a genitive of the plane tree, planato. And not far from the roots of the plane tree, a lenus fluvius, is the gentle flowing river, a fluvius, in speciam, in taking the accusative, in the appearance, placidae, plaudis, so that's genitive, of a placid marshland, ignavus. Um, that just can mean cowardly, but it means just uh, lazily, ebat, it was going, so... This gentle river, the appearance of a placid marsh, was flowing along. Argento vel vitro. Uh, so dative or ablative. This vel could mean even or for example, if it's an adverb. If it's just a preposition, it means or. So it looks like emulous, yeah. That's male. Ignavus was male. So it was rivaling in colour. That's a comparative, taking the um, this form. And the colour was emulating or in rivalry to silver or glass. N, which is an interjective, means look, enquem, I said, explore. I'd say this is an imperative, so fill up, lacais, which is a word for basically juice or water. Fill up with the water, uh, continuing with, with the ablative, lactio, that means milky. With the milky water, we'll take Fontes as a genitive. So look, fill yourself up with this uh, milky water of the spring. And Surgit, this is still Socrates. Socrates got up. And Opertus, Paul, Ulum, Plenior, Repay, Margin. And he basically discovered uh, the margin of the riverbank, margin of the riverbank, the edge of the riverbank, uh, Pleniorem. So there was... Um, he found a little flatter place, plenty or complicatus. He folded down in Geno onto his knees, ad pronat. So he's prone, he was leading forwards, say himself. Ad fectans, avidus poculum. So he found a place on the riverbank where he could, um, got down on his knees, reaching out. Poculum's a cup, usually. Avidus. So he could basically get, get a good drink. Nec dum satis extremis labis. So not yet had the extremities of his lips satisfactorily, a tigger added, touch it, the sumem aqua, the top of the water. Uh, raw ems the moisture at the top of the water. That's sometimes used for frost and things. And yugulo eels vulnus dehiscip. And they cracked open uh, his wound, yugulo, in his, uh, the jugular part of his neck. So... And in profundum patorem. So basically this um, deep cut opened up and illa spongy. And that sponge, which that witch had put in in the story earlier. D-E-O. From this, repente suddenly, devolvata. The sponge suddenly rolled out. And eum parvus ad modem comitor cruor. And so, ad modem is just the adverb for, again, to the limit, which may, can mean fully or certainly. It was accompanied, parvus cru, or, uh, it was blood, it was, it was accompanied with blood, or a little bit of blood. Denique, so finally, corpus ex enamatum, that's a, corpus is a neuter accusative, it looks like, 
Finally, with his unconscious body or this dead body, in Flumen, Pane Kernoe. Um With his body almost in the river, we'll say he was dead. It was a dead body, was almost in the river. Kernoe, you could see this. Nisi Ego, except that I, Alturo Eos Ped Retento, I'd uh, retained one of his feet. Uh, it's using a Retento taking that. Scarcely and agree with difficulty, so Vix is scarcely and with difficulty. Add Rip Amp Superium to the higher riverbank, add Traxia, that's the perfect for I, I dragged him. He was scarcely able to, and with difficulty did it. Where defletum pro temporo comitem, where crying for his friend, uh, pro temporo, as much as time would allow, Misalum erinosa humor. This is with sandy soil. The little wretch, so it looks diminutive. In Amnus Vicinia, in the vicinity of this river, Semper Turner, he would eternally contact say. So I covered him with sandy soil, and he would be here in the vicinity of the river eternally. Ipsy, so myself, Trepidus, past passive participle, and Eximi means especially Metuen, that's present participle. So I was present participle uh, trembling, and especially fearing in the present participle. And to me, through the diversest and avious solitudes, so through different and unpassable wastelands or solitudes, ah, uh, fugi, I fled. And quasi, and as if conscious to me, in the slaughter of, of a man, relicta patria, I've left behind my fatherland, and ultrionum, that's of my own free will, an exile, lare, from my household god. So he's left his fatherland and he's, actually the la lives in the fireplace, I believe. And in plexus now, I've embraced now, Aetolia. And I have a novo contracto matrimonio. I've had a new marriage in Colo, that's where I live. I live now in Aetolia. Haec aristamines. So these things aristamines had said, that's who was talking. At Illy Combs ES, this is singular, but he, his companion, his Combs, qui startum initio, who immediately initio in the beginning, uh, obstantina, uh, steadfastly from the beginning, incredulate sermon eos respute. This means spat out, which just means rejected. He rejected with incredulity his sermon, his, his whole discussion. Nihil inquit. Nothing he said of this story, fabulosius. So that's um, comparative. I've never heard anything as fabulous or as outrageous as this story. And nothing istomendakio absurdius. And nothing, another comparative, more absurd than istomendakio, than this lie. Et ad me conversus. And he turned to me. Two, you, autem, which means uh, moreover or however, knew however he said, you are a, via a man habitus. Um, this is from your clothes and habitudo. This is uh, basically the look on your face or your appearance. Demonstrate. So you're a man who by your clothes and your bearing demonstrate. Ornatus, so, you, so he's well decorated. Acetus huic fabulae. Um, what do you think of this fabulae, which is um, the story? What? Uh, do you accede to this story? Do you agree with it? Ego vero, but I, in quem I said, arbitra, I think, I think nothing is impossible, but ut cum qui fata decreve it, but whatever fate decrees, ita, thus, cuncta, all these things provenere, these come to the mortals, or it can help the mortals. Nam et mihi et tibi, for et, with et means both, actually we've got three et. For also to me and to you and cunctis hominibus and to all humans, multa uso vene mira and pene infecta. Infecta means incomplete. So uh, mira is wonderful. In much use, uh, the comes, venia comes to these men and you and everybody. Um, things that are almost incredulous or incompleted, quae tamen, which nevertheless 
relata ignaro related to ignorant people um perdant fidem uh the belief in them is destroyed said ego huic et credo but i to him i also believe him and by hercules and mamini and so i'm um, gratis gra- gratis gratis i'm uh, um, v- when I think about it, Mamini, when I I'm very grateful for me as I believe him, because a lepide fabulae, because these charming or pleasant, however you want to interpret that, stories, festivate nos evocovit. It calls us into us into a festive frame of mind. Asperum denique, and finally, this asperum and prolixam viam, this harsh and lengthy road. Sine labor and tardio evaso. And basically he's evaded this long and harsh road or avoided without the labor, without the hard work and, t- and the boredom. So this good stories relieved his boredom. Quod beneficium, looks like a neuter, um, which kindness, even illum victorum, me am, even to my victorum, the one who was carrying me, I believe... It's been made happy. Sine fatigue, without it being fatigued. Sui me usqui ad istam civalis portum. Uh, usqui means as far as. So without being tired, I've come as far as this gate of this uh, city. Non dorsum, not on the back, ilius of, of that, but perfecto, I was carried meus orbas. Um... I was carried on my own ears, not on his back. The end.